Hey loves. I'd like to thank all my new subscribers, all my day oneers. If you haven't subscribed, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Um listen. As you can see in the as you can see in the title of my video is my Corona COVID nineteen scare. And it's so funny that I'm making this video because me and my son was talking maybe two weeks ago and we asked each other, do you actually know anyone that have the Corona? And our answer was no, we don't. We don't actually know anyone that has the Corona. You know, we like everybody else. We heard of people having the Corona. We heard of people um, passing away from the Corona, but Personally, we never heard of anyone having a corona. We didn't know anyone had a corona. Let me say that. That changed. And that was just about two weeks ago. Maybe a week and a half we talked about that. That changed. I'm going to share a story with you guys that made this whole thing for me come alive. Not to say that I didn't believe in it. Because I always believed that this virus was serious. But what made it come alive for me was when my mom got a phone call about, I want to say, last, I want to get my days together, last Wednesday, last Wednesday, and she was told that she needed to go get a test for the corona, COVID-19. And the reason she needed to get a test was because one of her... Um, one of her um, patients that she take care of was tested positive and was in the hospital. Um... That was one of the scariest calls at this point in time that we could have got. Um, it, it, it was really scary. It was really scary for our family. My mom is a uh, person... She works in the health field. She takes care of hospice people. For those who don't know what hospice is, hospice is people that probably was given, I think, six months to a year to live from their doctor, and they need someone to, like, you know, come and help them. And my mom is one of them people. So, and it's so funny because she was only at the man house once. I think the man, I think the man was diagnosed the next day or something and then she was given a phone call the very next day for her to go get uh tested well anyway she called her doctor she 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 called us she was panicking she was you know just like losing control losing control um she called her doctor they gave her appointment for the next day she went the next day, got the test took. Um, it takes about three to four days for your results to come. This is what her doctor told her. That must have been the longest three to four days in our entire life. I mean, the clock ticked so slow. Now, mind you, prior to her employee calling her, telling her to go get tested, she was fine. She was going to work every day. I talked to her two, three times a day. My sister talked to her. She was fine. Once she found out that one of her residents was tested positive for the corona and that she needed to be tested, everything started hurting her. This, this, this disease, this virus plays on your minds. It plays on your faith. It plays on your belief. It plays on everything. She all of a sudden started feeling bad. 
Her throat was feeling funny. Her body was aching. She didn't have no fever. This is the thing she would tell me and my sister when we talked to her. Now, she don't live in the same city we lived in, so live in, so we couldn't go check on her. These were these were the things that she was telling us over the phone. Everything was hurting her. Um she waited for her three to three. It took three days. They said three to four, but it actually took three. And like I said, the clock tick, tick, tick. tick. I mean, it was the slowest three days that anyone could probably imagine. The slowest three days ever. Just waiting on them results. You know, um, by the grace of God, her results came back and everything was negative. It was negative. Unfortunately, the resident that she was taking care of, he passed away from the corona, sadly to say. Um, my mom is fine, thank God. Um, she's thinking about going back to work. I mean, it was a hard, hard thing for our family because my mom is, is, is this family rock. She's our rock. She's our, you know, she's our everything in this family. She's everything to us, you know, so it's hard. It's hard. Um, you know, it, it, it makes you doubt and second guess things, even all the way down to your faith. You know, my mom is a church going woman. She has faith. She believe in God. She know God's will. And, I mean, his work, you know, but in the same token, it's like when the time came, she, you know, not 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 that that she didn't believe in it. She she believed in what she prayed in, and she believed in the Lord. But it does something to you. It does something to you. Um, I just wanted to say, anybody, everybody that's going through something from this COVID nineteen. I'm sorry. If 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 you tested positive, I'm going to pray for you. If you're not tested positive, I'm going to pray for you that you don't ever have to go through what we just went through. That was a scary behind phone call. That was a scary three days, you know, and then it played mind games on my mom. It made her feel that she was sick when she wasn't sick. It made her feel like her body was hurting when it wasn't hurting. She started developing symptoms that was not there, but because she got that phone call and because the man tested positive and she had to go get a test, her body and her mind started playing tricks on her as if she was sick as if she had the COVID-19. So it's a mind bothering thing. It's not a game. It's, it's, it's serious. It's serious. So anyone out there that's dealing with this, anyone that gets that phone call or come in contact with somebody else, Hard as it may be, hard as it may be not to, I'm going to ask you not to panic. Stay positive. Keep your faith. You know, keep your strength. Don't, don't just fall on the concept of, I got it. I got COVID. No, wait for your test results to come back. Wait for them to give you a positive test result if that is, but definitely always pray for a negative test result. It's not a joke. It's serious. It's scary as hell. It's scary as hell. This family was beside their self thinking that our matriarch may be diagnosed with COVID-19. This family would never be the same. It would never be the same. Listen, loves, wear your gloves, wear your mask. Stay prayed up. Keep your faith. It is real. I always knew that it was real. But when it came knocking on our door, 
I knew just how real it was. It's serious. It's serious. It's not a game. It's not a game, y'all. Take this thing for what it is. If they tell you to wear a mask, by all means, please wear a mask. If they ask you to wear gloves, please wear gloves. Continue to wash your hands. Continue, continue to wash your hands. Please. By all means necessary. Go out only when you have to go out. And don't, if you can, if you can, find a babysitter. Don't take the children out. If you can. We were one of the fortunate ones. We were one of the lucky ones. We were one of the blessed ones. Don't get yourself in that position where you need a test. Don't put yourself in a position where you're waiting on results. Don't do it. It's the slowest time ever. It felt like them three days. It felt like the world just stopped for us for three days. Guys, it's serious. Take it serious. Keep your faith. Stay prayed up. Check on your family. Check on your family. Reach out and check on everybody. Make sure everybody feeling good. Is okay on a day to day basis. Just check on them. Listen, loves. It's no joke out here. Stay safe. Stay prayed up. Stay out the way. How about that? Stay out the way. To my next video. To the next time. I wish you all well. I wish you all good blessings. I wish you all safety.